One of the big problems with running stereo rigs is that you very often get ground loops. A ground loop happens when your guitar has two paths to ground and um, basically what will happen is uh, there could be a difference in potential in those two paths and if that is the case then a current uh, there's going to create a voltage and the current is going to flow uh, and you're going to hear a sound like this and that sucks nobody wants that in their guitar so uh, to counteract that in our stereo buffer plus on output 2 it runs through an isolation transformer and this basically lifts the path to ground so there's only a path to ground through output 1 on the uh, on the stereo buffer plus so this will basically eliminate any kind of ground hums uh, with the stereo setup which is awesome. Um, we've also added on that isolation transformer the ability to invert the polarity. So um, if you have two amps in different locations and uh, they're creating some interference with each other, some phase interference, uh, often inverting the polarity of one of them will put the two amps back in phase. Uh, so that's on a, a switch on the front here, out to polarity. So normal and then inverted would basically flip it 180 degrees. So here's a, uh, an example of uh, the two amps we have going right now. Uh, right now I have the polarity set to normal, so they're both uh, in phase with each other. And we can flip the polarity of the second amp, and it sounds like this. Now again, it's going to depend on where you're listening, um, because the the interference that they're going to create with each other is actually in the room. It's not uh, electronically in, in the amps. So that was just the uh, Stereo Buffer Plus. Uh, we have it running guitar in and then out to the two amps. Um, if you had just been using a, a, you know, a normal stereo pedal, the, because of the two paths to ground through the two amps, you would be getting a ground loop. But because of the isolation transformer, uh, you can hear it's very quiet.